Okay, at this time, will all sergeants please start the recordings? Computer started. Cloud recording started. Backup is rolling. And Sergeant Bradley, with your opening statement, please. Yes, good afternoon, and welcome to today's New York City Council vote on transportation. At this time, will all members please turn on your videos for verification purpose? Thank you, Chair. We may begin. Thank you, Sergeants and the whole team of the tech uh, department of the, of the City Council uh, for always being there supporting us on this hearing and many other hearings that is part of our responsibility. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Committee on Transportation's hearing to vote on proposed intro number 176-8, sponsored by Council Member myself, Annie Daniel Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. Proposed intro 176-A will create an interagency task force on removing certain vehicles from public streets. As we all know, curb space in New York City is in high demand, especially in certain residential and commercial areas. Every year, residents complain of vehicles being parked without license plate for long periods of time. Some auto body repair shops remove license late from motor vehicles and then park them, park these vehicles in the street or abandon them. Under New York State law, a motor vehicle must have a valid license plate and valid registration to operate or be parked on the street. And a vehicle's license plate must match its registration number. With our proper registration or a license plate, it is difficult for the NYPD to identify and ticket owners of these vehicles. Proposed intro 176-A will create an interagency task force to study the city's existing system or removing from public street vehicles that have been abandoned or parked without license plate or proper registration. The task force will include the Commissioner of Transportation, Commissioner of Sanitation, and the Police Commissioner or their, respect, their respective destiny and two additional members appointed by the mayor, the task force will examine the city's current procedures and develop recommendations to improve existing removal practices, all of which would, submit it, would be submitted in a final report to the mayor and the speaker of the council. I will now call on council member myself, the sponsor of this legislation to give his opening statement. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair Rodriguez, uh, for the opportunity for this bill to be heard in the committee. Um, actually, uh, you got to most of the salient points. There's really not much less that I could say about the legislation, except to say that for as long as I've been around uh, in government, uh, these cars and trucks that are on the city streets have been a plague in my district and in the districts of many of my colleagues. Uh, private individuals and companies are using the city streets as storage facilities. As real estate uh, in the city has gotten to be very expensive, uh, many of the lots that we use for storage have been uh, uh, used for housing, and now people are just parking on the streets, and it is creating enormous problems. Um, one of the small problems is since these trucks don't move, it's hard to clean the streets, so it creates a, a sanitation problem. And of course, as the chairman said, parking is at a premium. Some of these cars and trucks are there for, for years. The city right now has not given the police department the resources that they need to deal with this problem. There should be an interagency uh, task force, which is what the legislation calls for. And I'm very pleased that it's being heard today. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Uh, and of course, if I'm not a, a sign as a sponsor of this bill, I, I would like to be included. I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct the roll call vote on the proposed bill and I strongly recommend my colleagues to vote yes on this important piece of legislation. Good, af good afternoon, Matthew DeStefano, Committee Clerk, Committee on Transportation, roll call vote on proposed intro 176A, Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Permission to explain my vote? Commissioner Grante. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and thank you for allowing this bill and the speaker to come uh, on on this committee. 
I just want to take a moment to thank you, Councilmember myself, for your leadership on this bill. This is a problem that's plaguing all New York City and my district. Uh, it, it just is it's baffling to me that uh, little is being done about this. So I commend you, and I also hope that there's true follow-up in task force. There are task force, and there are task force. There's some that are active, and some that are there only by name. So I, I, it's my hope that at the council, we'll be able to hold the administration uh, and, uh, and all the members of that committee accountable to actually come up uh, with a plan. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Coon. Member Q, you're on mute. Oh, I will. I. Eleven. Congratulations, Councilmember Mizell. I vote I. Rose. I vote I. Levine. Thank you. I also vote I. Menchaca. I. Miller. <laughs> Council member Miller. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. This is the Miller vote tie. Thank you. Thank you. Reynoso. With congratulations to Councilman Mizell, great piece of legislation. Uh, what I don't know. Ruben Diaz Sr. Tu voto si. Gracias, Concejal. Holden. Uh, congratulations and thank you, Councilmember Mizell. I vote aye. Yeah, by a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the bill has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you to everyone again, all the staff and lawyer Elio and the rest of the team of this committee. I can also thank. I counsel, I'm sorry, I think we're holding the vote open. Is it, should I leave it open? I, I believe so. Okay, so I, I will leave it open. You will take care of closing it, right? Uh, any, yes, any other council member on the committee can do that. Okay, so I will leave it open. And, and again, thank you to all, all the staff. And if you don't mind, as, as I said, if you, or if you, you need to check it, if you can check to see which council member are in, and if we have to leave it open, so uh, uh, please let me know. Sure. Uh, I believe we're, we're waiting for council member Brooks Powers. Okay. So I should leave it open. When he bought it, be sure that he also closed it. All right, thank you. Thank you. So thank you to the, the staff and Elio and the rest of the team. Also from my team, uh, my chief of staff, Lisa Conforme, and the legislative director, uh, Evelyn Collado, and my communication person, Tomás Garita. And with that, I leave the vote open.
Mr. Clerk, uh, looks like uh, Brooks Powers is on. Continuation of roll call vote, Committee on Transportation, proposed intro 176A, Council Member Brooks Powers. Council Member Brooks Powers. I'm sorry, can you just give me one moment, please? Sure, sure. A council member, you said aye. Yes, aye. Right. Thank you. The final vote: twelve in the affirmative, zero negative, and no abstentions. Council member, if I can ask you to formally close this committee hearing. This committee meeting. This committee hearing. 